Hello. My name is A S H L E Y. Ashley. I'm ill. So I'm in bed. It's going to be boring. Nah, maybe not. Look at what my hands can do. Ha! It's another quilt. A long time ago, this would have been called a C O U N T E R P A N E. A counterpane. I've got a poem for you that's called The Land of Counterpane by Robert Louis Stevenson. Are you ready? When I was sick and lay abed. I had two pillows by my head And all my toys beside me lay To keep me happy all the day And sometimes for an hour or so I'd watch my leaden soldiers go With different uniforms and drills Among the bedclothes, through the hills. And sometimes sent my ships and fleets. All up and down, among the sheets. Or brought my trees and houses out And planted cities all about Great and still, that sits upon the pillow hill and sees before him, dale and plain, the pleasant land of counterpane. <laughs> Did you like that poem? Next time you're ill in bed, Feeling bored? Just imagine your toys coming to life. How exciting! Bye bye. Hello, my name is D O N N A. Donna. Look what my hands can do! Oh, a spoon! Now what could I use this for? I know! I could bake a cake! Yum! That makes me think of a poem. It's called Chocolate Cake by Gareth Lancaster Are you ready? Come on! I'm scoffing lots of chocolate cake But not quite as much as I'd like I'm wolfing it down with a whirl of my spoon. 
and it's flinging up, down, left and right. It's hitting the walls and spraying the floor. It's covered up Bessie, our cat. There's crumbs in my hair and our mother's best chair. And the windows want chocolatey splat. But faster and faster I shovel it up. Not bothered I'm missing my chops. As it drips from my nose and collects in my ears, loops drop from my nose and go plop. Then too quickly it's gone. There just was not enough. As I said at the start of this smasher, with my greedy delight, sloppy cake on the lights. Not one spot found its way past my gnashes. <sighs> Did you enjoy the poem? Do you like cake? Me too. It's best not to be greedy and messy with your food like the girl in the poem. But it is hard to resist a yummy cake. Mm. That's lovely. Bye bye. Hello! My name is A S H L E Y. Ashley! Look at what my hands can do! Oh no! It's homework! At school, you can be given homework. Maybe your big brothers and sisters have homework. Maybe it's reading and writing to do at home with mum and dad. It can be tough when you want to play. But homework is important as it helps you learn. Would you like a poem? It's called My Dog Ate My Homework and it was written by Ken Nesbitt. Are you ready? My dog ate my homework. That mischievous pup. Got hold of my homework and gobbled it up. My dog ate my homework. It's going to be late. I guess that the teacher will just have to wait. My dog ate my homework. He swallowed it whole. I shouldn't 
shouldn't have mixed it with food in his bowl. <laughs> Did you enjoy that poem? Do you think the boy was being lazy and didn't want to do his homework, so he gave it to the dog? Or do you think the dog was naughty and took it? I think the boy was lazy. He didn't want to do his homework and was thinking of excuses. Remember what I told you. Homework is important as it helps you learn, so you'll grow up to be very smart. Bye bye. Hello. My name is A I M E E. Amy. Look at what my hands can do. Oh, some stars. The moon. And some planets. I wish I could travel to outer space. It would be exciting to be an astronaut. That makes me think of a poem. It's called "I'm Building a Rocket," and it's by Ken Nesbitt. Are you ready? I'm building a rocket. As soon as I'm done, I'm taking my friends on a trip to the sun. But what do you mean that the sun is too hot? Oh well, I suppose I'll just pick a new spot. I'm building a rocket. I'm finishing soon and taking my friends on a trip to the moon. The moon has no air. Well, that's it then. I guess that we can't go up there. I'm building a rocket. It's going to fly. I'm taking my friends way up high in the sky. What do you mean when you ask how we'll land? This rocket is harder to build than I planned. I'm done with the rocket. It's out in the shed. I'm taking my friends out for pizza instead. Did you enjoy that poem? I did. Tonight, before bed, have a look outside your window. Maybe you can see some stars, or the moon, or you never know. You might even see a rocket. Bye bye. Hello. My name is D O N N A. Donna, look what my hands can do. Oh, look, it's planet Earth. That's 
where we live. Where's my house? There it is in England. That makes me think of a poem I know. It's called Homemaker and it's by James Carter. Are you ready? Take a little planet, cushion it with cloud. Pump it up with air and sky. Start to spin around. Pour in plenty oceans. Rivers, lakes and streams. Liven up with animals. Birds. And human beings. Gentle breeze. Freeze it in the polar caps. Lay down grass and trees. Let it dance around the sun. Now it's fully grown. Decorate with moon and stars. Did you enjoy that poem? Goodness! What a lot of things there are on our planet! Can you think of some? Well, there's you. And me. And what else? You're right! Lots of animals! Bye-bye!